This is home right here. My family's been in the commercial fishing business for generations. My dad was really all about doing it the right way, so doing a lot of innovation around how we manage the fisheries, the nets we use, how to reduce our impact. That's part of the thing that we take pride in and part of the thing that we feel responsibility for. It's kind of the genesis of the whole thing. My name is Marty Odlin. I'm the CEO and founder of Running Tide. This is exactly where we grew up, right on these docks. Like my grandfather kept his boat right there when I was a kid. Being outdoors and being in the water and on the water has always been kind of part of our life. Now with my kids, we've got generations of surfers going. The things I learned here and from the people around here taught me how to live and how to be in the world. At Running Tide, we're trying to increase the world's understanding of the ocean. We made an industrial scale mess of the carbon cycle. We made an industrial scale mess of the ocean. So if we want to fix it, we got to make an industrial level effort to put it back in balance. So one of the first things I really liked about Running Tide is that its founder was a surfer, you know, a fisherman, grew up on the East Coast, just like me. People from the water, people who know the ocean, who love the ocean, who are on the front lines and have seen the changes from climate change first showing up in the ocean, are the ones that are taking the leadership role about how to actually reverse climate change. That's why we want to work with Running Tide. I'm Adam Basque and I'm the VP of Coastal Markets and Restoration at Running Tide. Climate change is here in Maine, it's hitting hard. The Gulf of Maine is warming I think 99% faster than anywhere else on the planet. So we got crazy temperature regime shifts, we got new species moving in, we got trigger fish coming in the lobster traps which is absolutely unheard of. We got sand tiger sharks swimming into our coastal rivers. Those things should be in North Carolina. Climate change is here, warm water is here, acidifying waters are here. It really is ground zero for climate change and its impacts on the ocean. That's exactly why we need projects like what we're doing with sea trees, where we're restoring oyster reefs, where we're bringing back these ecosystem services. The oysters are filtering water, they're providing habitat, they're enhancing biodiversity, and even buffering against storm surge as we're getting higher sea level rise and more storms here. Projects like this, where we can actually plant oysters, you start clarifying the water, you bring back native species, you get the seagrasses going again, they're capturing carbon, they're clarifying the water. You gotta kick this off, and the best way to do it is by planting oysters in an area where they used to thrive, which they haven't here for hundreds of years because of pollution, because of overfishing, and because of this general decline in ocean health that we're seeing driven by climate change. My name's Andrew Thompson. I'm the Director of Verification Engineering here at Running Tide. Unfortunately, part of the effect that we have on coastal environments is nitrogen runoff or nutrient runoff. So all the fertilizers that are coming out of agriculture systems and running into the water, those nutrients can cause phytoplankton blooms. And when that phytoplankton dies and rots at the bottom, that can pull all the oxygen out of the water. Having these shellfish in the environment helps to absorb that nitrogen runoff to prevent those phytoplankton blooms so that you never get that oxygen deprivation and all the fish and shellfish can continue to live a happy life. For our oyster reef interventions in the coastal environment, we use our sound buoys that include things like nitrate sensors, pH sensors, temperature, salinity, turbidity, dissolved oxygen. We're trying not to reinvent the wheel, we're trying to just package the things that already exist in a purpose-built way. Talking about like not reinventing the wheel, these are all user serviceable sensors. And then there's no batteries associated with this. It's charged off the solar panel, the buoy. So every oyster out here can filter roughly 50 gallons a day. There's 300,000 oysters out here. So that's 15 million gallons a day. And that's about 30 Olympic sized swim pools. How can we take what we're gonna learn here in this project and actually apply it to all of our other projects as well so we get a better understanding of how effective ecosystem restoration is happening wherever it's happening around the world.
there's always like that pride in being able to engage with the ocean at the level of complexity and the level of difficulty that it provides and build up these data packages and that's applicable to a recreational fisherman to small oyster farmer in Maine to world governments or national governments on their maritime policy it's the same three pathways you have to measure physical transport of the material that you're paying attention to in the water biogeochemical and then ecological. And like once we built that around the shellfish, you can apply that to using kelp. And you can start applying them to all sorts of different ecosystems in the ocean and also different things that you want to measure. Everything we've built here, these data collection systems, connecting nature to capital, you know, what interventions we do and how do we make these adjustments to the ocean, all came out of that desire to find a way to like do more good at the scale of the problem. There's always a lot of pride around here and you know that extends to the fun stuff too like catching waves. Being able to connect with nature and being able to master elements of it but you know always being so much smaller than the ocean that's uh, really embedded in the spirit around here. That's what Running Tide's all about. It's just building up those measurement pathways so we can consolidate intervention in the ocean into a data package that people will pay for, that proof that that good thing happened. Just like we did with fishing, we got really good at it. Like, we're gonna get really good at this. It's an ambitious plan, but this work is going to happen. We're gonna fix this.